Magandang araw sa lahat. Ayan. So, welcome to the Virtual Multi-Stakeholder Forum on Sustainable Transportation and Inclusive Mobility, Policy Issues and Options. Ayan, di ba? Title pa lang, summary na. Now, para sa mga Zoom participants, pwede nating pusuan ang event today. And we are also streaming via FB Live on the uh, DLSU Research Congress page. Ayan. So, meron tayong audience in Zoom and also in our um, uh, FB Live um, page. Now, today's event is organized by Enrique K. Razon Jr., Logistics Institute of De La Salle University. And this is made possible through the support of the National Research Council of the Philippines or the NRCP. So, this is Dr. Lesbian Eliwanag of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Associate Professor serving as your host for today. Um, to jumpstart today's knowledge sharing activity, isang karangalan na marinig muli ang ating uh, Vice President for Research and Innovation in DLSU, Professor Raymond Girard Artan, for his welcome message. Dr. Tan? Thank you very much, Dr. Liwanag. Uh, Maraming salamat, Professor Tan, for that very inspiring message to set the tone of this forum. So katulad ng nabagget ni uh, Dr. Tan, ay iba't ibang sektor ng ating lipunan ang naririto ngayon. So representatives of national government agencies, local government units, the academy, of course, civil society organizations, and the private sector. So, mga important sector ito para sa usapin ng urban settlements para sa mga mamamayan. Now, this forum is actually part of a policy research project sponsored by the NRCP in support of the ongoing initiative on the crafting of a national sustainable transport bill in the Philippines. So napaka-importante yung usapin nito para malaman natin yung layunin at konteksto ng policy forum na ito. We will be joined by the Associate Professor of the Mechanical Engineering Department of DLSU and the Project Leader of the Policy Research on Sustainable Transportation from Enrique K. Razon Jr. Logistics Institute. Folks, help me welcome Dr. Neil Stephen A. Lopez. And all right, thank you, Dr. Lopez, for providing us with valuable information about this initiative. Ngayon, may three points kung bakit interesante ngayon yung usapan natin. Dahil bilang estudyante, mga empleyado, buhay na natin yung transportation. Pangalawa, mahalaga ay evidence-based yung data natin para malaman natin kung pangatlo ano-ano yung magagawa natin no bago ma-implement bilang mga actors no bago ma-implement yung proposed na policies and programs with regards to our transportation now let us now go to um, the knowledge sharing proper of our program nabanggit natin kanina we have invited representatives from local government agencies civil society organizations, and the private sector. Um, mahalaga ito dahil matutunghaya natin yung kanika nilang mga initiatives, mga karanasan sa pagpapatupad ng iba't ibang transport projects sa ating bansa. Ngayon, para maunawa natin ano ano yung mga effort na to sa pagpapatatag ng sustainable transportation mula sa ating mga lokal na pamahalaan, we are pleased to have our first speaker. He started his very young career as a policy researcher for the Office of the City Mayor under former Mayor Lino Cayetano of Taguig City. Upon the creation of the Taguig Mobility Office in early 2020, he was appointed to be its officer in charge. Since then, he has been leading the city's sustainable transportation agenda, which includes the bicycle lane network plan, road safety audits, and walkabout walkability studies. I'm sure katulad ko, interesado yung mga netizens nating bikers. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. William Mariano of the Mobility Office of the City of Taguig Government. Mr. Mariano? 
on our right, Sir Will. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Will, no, for sharing local efforts for the Tagigenyos. Yeah, nakita natin yung um, significance of having a dedicated committee na talagang tututok dun sa concerns, no? And open discussions with, with the stakeholders na talagang nakakaranas mismo doon sa daan. I hope you can stay, Mr. Will, no, on the on the open forum later. Thank you very much. Now, our next um, guest speaker will highlight the perspective of another innovative city government. Now, I am pleased to introduce to you the Chief Transportation Planner of the City Government of Pasig, Mr. Robert Anthony C. All right. Okay, so mula sa Tagig, mabilisan tayong naipasyal sa Pasig no? for their own uh, local efforts. I'm sure na-absorb na absorb natin lahat ito dahil very short, no? very short, very brief. Thank you, Mr. C, for those very insightful inputs. Now, before I proceed to the next speaker, I would like to remind our audience na pwede-pwede tayong magtanong sa ating speakers using the chat box of this um, Zoom webinar. Please type in your questions anytime during the webinar. And we will try to entertain, ako, i-maximize natin, i-take advantage natin, no? that we can entertain as many questions as we can during the open forum. Now, at this point, gusto nating maunawaan lalo yung perspektiba no? ng ating civil society organizations at um, citizens sa sustainable transportation and um, usapin ng inclusive mobility. Our next speaker is an environmental planner and urban cyclist. Aside from previously working as a local urban planning consultant on active transport for the World Bank. She is also the founder of Life Cycles PH, a group dedicated to providing bikes to frontliners during the pandemic. Bongga to. She was recently awarded the Outstanding Women in Nations Service Award 2022 for urban transport. Folks from the MOVE as One Coalition and Alt Mobility PH, please give a warm welcome to Ms. Keisha Mayuga. Ms. Keisha? All right. So thank you, Ms. Mayuga, for that very um, hiring discussion napaka-interesting makita yung kababaihan no bilang aktibong mamamayan na namumuno sa transportation efforts sa ating bansa siguro makita natin yung mga speakers natin from the first speaker on to the second from Tagig to Pasig and now kay Miss Mayuga makita natin na nagkakasundo yung three speakers natin when it comes to collaborating with the stakeholders dahil at ano't ano pa dahil tayo-tayo rin yung makakabenepisyo nitong mga little efforts ng mga organisasyon at ng mga lokal na pamahalaang ito. At this stage, we'd like to get insights and understand better the view of transport associations and the private sector. Now, our next speaker is the chairperson of the South Metro Transport Cooperative which operates public utility e-vehicles. Let us please give a warm Lasallian welcome to Mr. Ernesto Saw Jr. Sir Ernesto. Maraming salamat um, sir, no, maraming salamat sa inyong ano sa inyong uh, naibahagi sa amin dahil uh, sa pagiging transparent at sa pagkukuwento no Mr. So sa pagkukuwento ng inyong personal na karanasan bilang transport cooperative chair ay Sa, makita natin sa una maraming nagtataas ng kilay no sa kanilang mga panimulang hakbangin but what is important is their efforts also of reducing the negative environmental um, impact as much as possible thank you very much po now um very exciting ang forum natin today it's a mixture of young blood no and a seasoned in, in, in the industry so marami tayong napulot sa lokal na konteksto ng Pilipinas magsisimula na po tayo sa ating um open forum and we are inviting no, our guest speakers to turn on the, their cameras um, who are joining the call live. Yan. Para sa ating audience, uh, type in your questions. Huwag mahihiyang magtanong. <laughs> Parang commercial lang to. Ah. Type in your questions on our Q&A uh, chat box and the research team will now be picking some of the questions. Ah, ito, ang dami na palang tanong. No? Ang dami ng tanong natin natanggap kanina. So, habang nagpe-prepare yung ating iba pang mga speakers. Um, 
uh, basahin natin, no? Basahin natin yung ma-accommodate natin sa araw na ito. Okay, sige. Unang-una, siguro ito yung mga ano din, nag-present po kanina ng kanilang mga efforts sa kanilang cities, no? Um, the question is, anong ato anong gagawin sa mga existing bike lanes na hindi magamit dahil mali ang pagkakagawa o mali ang naging lokasyon ng mga ito and very relevant question ito i think um anyone from this group yung nag-ana siguro sa mga cities no in Taguig and in Pasig or maybe sir could also answer may mga um ano rin si sir kanina sa um kanilang efforts yan po Hi um Leslie um so Anthony from uh, Pasig Transport ah uh, uh, okay lang ba kung uh, ako yung mag-open ng uh, answer sa question na yan Sige po sige po Okay sige um for that so ibig sabihin marami maraming factors din no um on how to really um uh, do about this uh, bike lane so sinasabing mali yung pagkakagawa or yung location Okay so um another question ano yung mga challenges or hamon or issues na na-experience ninyo sa pag-implement ng mga programa sa isang uh, para magkaroon ng sustainable transportation. Okay? Siguro ngayon ang dami pa, no? Ang dami pang lumalabas na questions dahil nga kanina nung sinimula natin yung programa, lahat tayo talaga ay sa full talaga sa webinar na to. Nagtatrabaho, estudyante, magulang o kahit yung mga senior netizens natin, no? Um, iba pa kayo humihingi ng discount. Eh, but anyway, um, ang gusto natin sabihin ay napaka-importante ng mga ganitong klase ng forum but we cannot really entertain everything, no? Kung pwede lang one week talagang gawin tong ganitong klase ng webinar para maibigay yung mga hinalaing natin. We are very thankful actually with our speakers sa uh, pagbibigay sa amin ng oras kay Sir Robert, Sir Will, Sir Ernesto and Sir Eugene. No? So, ating, uh, surprise guest also si Sir Eugene. Maraming salamat dahil I'm sure matutulungan yung mga researchers natin and of course yung bansa natin no paano natin mabibigyan ng mga um, little solutions no kasi hindi naman pwede talagang agaran. Okay, bigla na tayong magiging first world and all that. So again, very thankful Welcome. At this stage, we would like to commend our speakers for giving out um, the Certificate of Appreciation. Ito ay pamumunuan, of course, si Dr. Lopez bilang project manager ng proyektong ito. Dr. Lopez, you can uh, read the citation to be given to our speakers. Thank you very much, Leslie, and to our um, guest speakers. No? So, of course, para naman may history at hindi lang maging chismis yung event natin today, photo op muna tayo on natin ang ating mga cameras. Ready na yung mga buhok. Ayusin natin ang konti. O may filter yata ang zoom eh, no? May filter siya. What is important is to turn on your camera, Sir June. We can take a screenshot. Ilang panels ba tayo? Hindi naman naabot siguro ng 200 panels to di naman. Ayan. Yung mga ano po na at least itong mga panelists muna natin. Ayan, sige. So, we have, ano, yan, sige. Yeah, turn on your camera. Si Sir June ang magtitik ng, ano, ng photo. Sir June? One, two, three, smile. All right. Okay. Hold your smiles. Okay na. Okay. One, two, three, smile. Okay na daw po. <laughs> Sige, maraming salamat. Now, to sum up today's discussion, um, I'm pleased to call Mr. Ian Jason Hesita, who serves as the policy research specialist for this project um, and a faculty member of the Department of Political Science at De La Salle University. Sir Ian, citing on future projects na ito, Sir Ian, maraming salamat for sharing your little milestones for this research team. And of course, the success of this project ay success din para sa ating mga Pilipino. Now, to cap off today's productive activity, I'm honored to call our partner in this project, Dr. Marieta Bisumagaysay, Executive Director of the NRCP, for her closing message. Dr. Sumagaysay. All right, innovative changes driven by science and social sciences. Thank you, Dr. Sumagaysay. Bago tayo mag-leave no, sa ating Zoom room, bago mag-leave ang participants sa Zoom, may katibayan na nag-stay kayo with us. I would like to direct your attention to the survey link posted in our chat box. Ayan. Ang survey na ito ay para makuha natin 
natin yung pulso ng publiko sa posibleng pagbuo ng mas sustainable transport policy sa Pilipinas. Ito, um, pwede ninyong isave muna yung link. Isisave nyo muna itong link na ito. Paki-post na lang muna. Sige, post ko na lang muna sa lahat. Ayan. Na-post ba sa lahat? Nakita niyo yung link? Saka sasagutan niyo to, yung form na to after this event. Yan, thank you Sir Ian for posting it to everyone. Um, saka sagutan natin tong form na ito after the event. Tapos makikita niyo yung link to request certificates at the end of the survey. Yan, maraming salamat sa ngalan ng Enrique K. Razon Jr. Logistics Institute ng De La Salle University at ng NRCP. This is Dr. Leslie and Liwanag thanking you for participating in this activity. Sana makasama namin kayo muli sa mga susunod pang aktividad at hakbang ng proyektong ito. Magandang tanghali po sa lahat. Enjoy your lunch and advance. Happy holidays. Bye. Paalam.